There's your weather briefing for this Sunday, November the 27th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and rain and thunderstorms moved through Alabama quickly last night. Uh, heaviest rain, and uh, most of the thunder was over South Alabama. That cold front, though, has pushed into Georgia early on this Sunday morning, taking the rain with it, and the rest of the day should be rain-free across Alabama. Uh, some wraparound cloudiness on the backside of the low-pressure system uh, will keep uh, northwestern sections of the state cloudy today. That cloud deck will try to slide a little further southeast as we go through the day, but a good bit of you will see uh, fairly uh, sunny day. Temperatures uh, we'll see in just a minute topping out uh, in the uh, 60s for the most part, some 50s over northwest Alabama though. But by tonight that uh, cloud deck could overspread um, areas north of I-20. South of there, I think with the clear skies and the residual moisture left, we could see some widespread fog and low clouds developing across much of the area. So when you wake up on Monday, uh, fairly cloudy, foggy conditions could be in effect. Now, these are high temperatures. Um, well, this is actually high temperatures for Monday, but uh, if you look at high temperatures for today, you'd see upper 50s over northwest Alabama, 60s across the area. Then tomorrow, of course, a degree or two warmer, except maybe over northeast Alabama. Lows tonight uh, should be in the 40s across the entire area. And while we're talking about temperatures, this is the national blend of models over the next uh, 10 days, uh, showing uh, quite the roller coaster ride there. Nothing really cold or really hot are really even warm in the next few weeks, but it will be fairly mild. We could see some 70s, I think, um, as we get into that December 4th, 5th, and 6th period. So these, uh, these temperatures here might be just slightly underdone, but we could see a freeze Thursday morning, it appears as well. This is Monday, high pressure, large and in charge. And here in Alabama, we're going to be dry with those uh, uh, clouds burning off quickly, clearing skies, temperatures rising into the 60s. Uh, falling back uh, into the uh, lower middle 40s Tuesday, ahead of our next storm system. You see it taking shape here over the lower Mississippi Valley. Uh, low pressure there moving into Iowa and um, a strong fetch of uh, moisture from the Gulf of Mexico moving up into the Arklatex region. The Storm Prediction Center has been outlooking that area for severe weather. Southeastern, southern Oklahoma, northern uh, Louisiana into Mississippi for Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, and into Wednesday. Now, that activity will be taking shape. Here we see uh, the maps for 9 p.m. on a Tuesday night, uh, showing showers and thunderstorms over Arkansas, western Tennessee, back into Mississippi and northern Louisiana. That should be about the peak of any potential severe weather. The instability will be diminishing as we move uh, the storms into Alabama. Rain and storms on tap for us late Tuesday night, continuing into Wednesday. Maybe a slight chance of some severe weather, mainly over western sections late Tuesday night. But the uh, rain and thunderstorms will be moving through the area for a good bit of the morning on Tuesday. And then we turn sharply colder. Well, not sharply colder. Uh, high temperatures struggling to get out of the 40s on Thursday. Uh, probably between 48 and 55 across the area, uh, possibly a, a, a light freeze there Thursday night and Friday. High pressure centered over Alabama in the southeast, and um, it will be keeping us uh, fair and allowing for a bit of a warm-up as we uh, get into the, the weekend, uh, heading toward the weekend. High temperatures on Friday in the middle and upper 50s. Saturday looks dry. Uh, some forecasts uh, introduce the uh, chance of some showers on Saturday, but I think that uh, might be a little overdone. We probably stay mostly dry and we warm back into the 60s. As we head into um, the voodoo forecast period, looking out on Sunday the 11th out at the end of the two weeks, we see another system. Uh, what you've actually, what you really miss here is that we stay mostly dry that whole week, thanks to some fairly uh, strong subtropical ridging across Alabama and the Deep South, but that breaks down enough for a cold front to move through around December the 11th. No other really um, significant weather to talk about during uh, any of the next two weeks. Just uh, sort of a, a cool to mild, uh, fairly uh, fairly dry with a few storm systems sprinkled in. Weather Brains is the weekly netcast. It's all about weather. We'll be taping another show tomorrow night taping. That's an interesting word. Uh, Paul Schlatter from the National Weather Service in Boulder will join us. We'll be talking about that big fire they had a year ago. 
uh, in that area and all things weather, which is what we do on Monday nights on Weather Brains, the weekly netcast that's all about weather. Well, that's your weather briefing for the Sunday, the 27th of November. Can't believe the month is nearly gone, just about to be into December. Uh, Cyber Monday coming up. I hope you've got most of your shopping done between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And uh, by the time we talk again next week, as I always tell you, I hope that you will have kept an eye to the sky, because if you do, you'll always have something fun to look at.